Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited for today's video because today I'm gonna be doing kind of like a beginner friendly makeup video focusing on all of my top beauty tips to apply my makeup and I honestly find myself using these tips on a daily basis. They work so well for me. I'm also gonna be talking about some of my favorite tools in today's video. Lots of tips and tricks to really simplify your makeup routine. I hope you guys find this video useful. I, Like I said, I do think that this is gonna be great for anyone that's just getting into makeup. But even if you are really into makeup and you love applying your makeup every single day like me, these tips can still help simplify your routine. I know for a fact that they do for me. And a really quick side note, I am actually pre-filming this video right now. So I'm currently 23, almost 24 weeks pregnant. Let me show you guys a quick bump date. Here we are. <laughs> I am currently, like I said, almost 24 weeks. And I am actually gonna be pre-filming some of my videos because once I have the baby, I am gonna be kind of taking like a little bit of a maternity break. You know, when you work for yourself, there's no such thing as a maternity break, but I am gonna be forcing myself to take some time off of YouTube because this takes a lot of time. So I do wanna, you know, take a little bit of break, probably take like a monthish off. And you know, for me, it's still really important to have content already ready to go up. So I'm gonna be pre-filming some of the content so you guys have you know videos to watch while I'm away spending time with my baby, which, oh my gosh, just thinking about that gets me so excited and so happy. But anyway, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with my top beauty tips that I love. All levels, whether you're an expert, whether you're a beginner, whether you're right in the middle with makeup, I hope you guys love these tips as much as I do. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with my first tip, and that is to show you guys how to color correct your skin. Now for me, my big skin concern, and I know this is the case for a lot of women of color, is discoloration, hyperpigmentation, uneven skin. I also do have some dark circles. I have some discoloration around my face. I also have it around my mouth. And then anytime I get a breakout, these two right here were pimples. When it goes away, like when it actually heals, it leaves behind this lovely mark. So I wanna kind of like correct all of this. And I'm also just gonna quickly add a picture of a color wheel right here so you guys can see for yourself. But basically we are going to really cancel out all of the discoloration on my skin. And to do that effectively, you wanna use a peachy tone or an orange tone color corrector. I'm gonna show you guys both of these because they both work so well. They're very different from one another, but they both work so well to effectively correct your face. The thing to remember when it comes to color correcting is a little bit of product goes a long way. This is gonna go first thing before you apply your foundation or your concealer. Just keep all of that in mind. And let's go ahead and get started with this peachy one from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade medium to dark peach. So the best way that I like to use this is just with my fingers. And I am going to just apply this in the areas where I need a little bit of color correcting. And you guys can see I'm not taking too much product. That's like the big thing I really want to call out here. You do not need a lot of product because this is not your foundation or your concealer. We're just canceling out the discoloration so you don't need too, too much product. The other product I wanna talk about is the Lip Tinted um, Hue Stick in Rise. Now this is a multi-purpose product. Today I'm only gonna be focusing to color correct. And the way you wanna use this, you guys will also see right away, is that it's actually much darker than the Bobbi Brown one. It's a lot more pigmented. So again, you don't need too, too much product at all. And I am just going to apply this in the areas of my concern. And then again, just blend this out. Whether you're a little bit lighter than me or a little bit darker than me, this is gonna work really, really well for you. So I wanted to also recommend that. You guys can now see I have effectively color corrected all over my face. And now I'm gonna go in and use my foundation. So I'm gonna quickly fast forward this part because I'm not really gonna talk too, too much about the foundation, um, but I just wanna show you guys how well both of these products layer underneath your complexion products. Okay, so here is my foundation all done. And can you guys see how even it looks? And I haven't even used any concealer. That truly is the power of color correcting. 
Just remember again, less is more when it comes to whichever color corrector you use. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how to make your concealer last all day long without creasing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my concealer and this will work with any sort of like cream or liquid concealer. I'm using one from KKW Beauty and I decided to use this one because this is a very hydrating concealer. I actually think honestly this is a very underrated concealer because the formula of this is just incredible. And for me, my favorite method to blend out my concealer is always with a beauty sponge. And I just like to quickly press this underneath my eyes. You don't need to press like very like intense, you know? Just press gently and this blends out beautifully. But what happens with most liquid or cream concealers is that in just a few minutes, you're gonna start to see little creases underneath your eyes. You can prevent your concealer from creasing throughout the day. And my favorite way to do that is actually by using a loose powder. Then what you wanna do is, first of all, look down, make sure there's like no creases happening. You can see it's already starting to happen. So just quickly blend out those little creases underneath the eyes. Then you wanna take the loose powder on your beauty sponge like this, look down, and do like a little bake. Now again, I'm not pressing hard at all. I'm just trying to get the product on my skin like this. And you want to kind of let that sit underneath your eyes for maybe like 30 seconds or so. And doing this like quick light bake is really going to ensure that your concealer stays put all day long. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take that same beauty sponge not taking any additional product, look down and blend the powder in place. Really kind of press this into my skin. And you guys, this is it. That's the big, big trick to really make sure that your concealer lasts all day and doesn't crease as much throughout the day. If you do have oily skin, I will say you might, you know, your concealer might crease a little bit faster on you. But for me, with my very dry skin, this really helps to not only give me like a really nice airbrush look, but really helps my concealer stay put all day long. Okay guys, next up, and we are really kind of like switching things up. I'm gonna go from my face to my eyes to my lips all over the place. Um, but I do wanna show you guys the quickest way to do a smoky eye. And this is so beginner friendly that I just think that honestly everyone can do it with a little bit of practice. And all you will need are some stick eyeshadows. So I really recommend having a nice um, medium tone matte brown. This one is from K Beauty in the shade Splendid. And then I also recommend having like a metallic satin finish one. And this is a neutral shade from Laura Mercier called Burnish Bronze. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I create the quickest smoky eye ever. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is just take your solid um, stick eyeshadow and you wanna apply this in your crease. Now, of course, everyone's eye shape is different. I'm just kind of following my natural shape of my eye. And you can see right now, it doesn't look, you know, super good because obviously it has, it's not blended. Um, but what you're gonna now need is a blending brush. And I really recommend having a brush like this in your collection. Honestly, you don't need a lot of eye brushes. I always find myself using the same three brushes, which is this one right here, a shader brush like this, and a shorter eyeshadow blending brush. What you wanna do is just focus where the line is. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see. But see this harsh line right here? We're only touching that part, and we're taking the blending brush and swiping back and forth, back and forth like this. And you can see this eyeshadow specifically, which by the way, I love this formula, blends out so easily on the eyes. Look at that. And just like that, it's all blended out. Done. That right there is like such a quick trick to blend out your eyeshadow. Just focusing it on that harsh line, blend back and forth. And within just a few seconds, you are good to go. And there you have it. Your eyeshadow is blended. Now I know that on my actual eyelid, it's not perfect. That's okay because now I'm gonna go in with that metallic shade. This is such a pretty shade. And I'm gonna apply this kind of like all over my lid like this. 
And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna take that shader brush and just blend this into the first eyeshadow. And you guys, this is my eyes done with the quickest smoky eye ever. And that's it, you just need some good creamy stick shadows and that's all you need to create a gorgeous, easy, quick, smoky eye. Okay, so I quickly did my eyebrows and a little bit of liner off camera, but now it is time to show you guys how I like to do my winged liner. So this one right here is from House Labs. All of the writing came off, but it is the House Labs liner. You really just need a pen liner like this. You need that felt tip. It gives you a lot of control and it makes it so easy to create that winged liner. So what I recommend is actually getting a little mirror and you're gonna take the liner, use your pinky finger kind of just to like rest on your face to give you extra control. And I like to start off kind of like in the middle and in short strokes, I will drag the pen back and then I will just go ahead and connect it all the way to the front of my eye. Now to extend it you want to just go at the back of your eye here and use the end of your brow as a guide. If you really use that trick it helps a lot and you want to just drag it back like that. Now I kind of messed up a little bit there but that's okay. And then you wanna connect that wing with the rest of the liner. And guys, there you have it. That is your winged liner done. Okay, so my winged liner is all done and now I'm gonna show you guys how to actually smudge out this liner, which is a totally different look. I love that look. I feel like it just really goes with smoky eyes and I just find myself doing that look all the time so I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and for that what you're going to need is a small shader brush like this make sure it's kind of shorter than a traditional shader brush and it's a little bit more firm as well at the tip and you're also going to need a very dark brown matte eyeshadow so again you want to look down in your mirror and you're just going to go ahead and start to smudge that eyeshadow right above the eyeliner and just smudge it back and forth like so. That is going to create that really subtle, soft, sexy, sultry, all of the above smudgy eyeliner look. You wanna also do this like kind of right away after you apply your liquid liner. I find that it blends out a little bit easier that way. And there you have it guys. That's like that smudgy liner look. You can smudge it out a little bit more, but I like it to be like that. A little bit defined at the tip and more smudgy all over my eyes. And that's really it. It's so quick and easy. Okay, so now it is time to show you guys how to apply your false lashes, which I know for a fact so many people struggle with. But I promise you this tip is a game changer and it really makes it so easy. Again, you wanna practice a little bit, but this tip really makes it, like I said, super, super easy to apply your false lashes. The first thing you're gonna need is some sort of tweezers. I like this one from Revlon and I only use this for my eyelashes. You're also going to need an eyelash glue. For me personally, I actually really recommend the Duo brand. It's such a great brand, but I also recommend the one that has like that dark finish. I ran out of that, so I'm just gonna use the white one today. And of course, you're going to need your lashes. I'm gonna be using these ones right here from Ardell. I love them. You wanna hold your lashes with your fingers like this, and then you wanna take your glue on the back of your tweezers and apply a very thin layer. But can you guys see? I don't have a lot of glue on there. And you really want to even let that glue dry for a few seconds. You want it to be a little bit tacky. So again, it doesn't have a chance to like really slip and slide anywhere. The other thing that you're going to need, and this right here fam, is the game changer. You're going to need some sort of mirror compact. Really hold this mirror kind of like underneath your chin so you can see clearly on top of your lash line. That's the big key to remember here is you want to be able to see the top of your lash line really, really well. Because what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your lash and you're just gonna boop, drop it on 
to your actual lash line and that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take my glue or my lashes with my tweezers, hold it kind of like right in the middle. Don't press it too, too hard because that will ruin your lashes. And then look down and place it like that. It's not secured yet. You do wanna secure it. So either do the front or the back first and lashes are on just like that it's so quick and easy and the mirror really is a game changer again this took me a long time to perfect uh, but I practice a lot and um, yeah now I make it like I, now I can apply my lashes on myself or anyone else very quickly because of this very quick technique so try this out hopefully this helps you guys out definitely works every time for me okay so I went ahead and did my bronzer I applied my bronzer really quick and now I'm going to show you guys the quickest way to contour your nose so today I use a brush like this I don't even know the brand oh it cosmetics this is their contour brush and this is an angle brush that I use to apply my bronzer on the side of my face. I really recommend having a brush like this. You can find this brush from all different brands at all different price points, um, but this works great to just fit on the natural curves of your face. Well, I'm gonna take that same exact brush and kind of just like press it. And then, not taking any additional product, I'm just gonna apply this on the side of my nose. Not really on my nose, but really on the side of my nose. And this, my friends, is really gonna contour your nose so quickly. It's not gonna give you like a super snatched contour if you're looking for that. It's just going to give you a little bit of a shadow to define your nose very slightly, but let me tell you, this trick works for me. It's easy, it's quick, it takes me two seconds to do using the same brush that I'm already using on my face. I'm not using any additional tool. Try this out, you might really like it. Just make sure you really press the brush that becomes like more skinny like this and then boom boom you're done okay so this is another one of my favorite most used tips and that is to cover the lash band that you can see all you're gonna do is take your liquid liner and you're gonna go right on top of that lash band and just conceal and cover any of that visible band just like that. So this is not really a tip. This is kind of just like my process of applying my lip products at the moment. And this really helps to kind of make my lips appear a little bit bigger than they actually are. And for this, you're gonna need a lip liner of your choice, a lip color of your choice, and a lip gloss. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna go ahead and outline my lips, just overline them a little bit, not too much. Cause if you do them too much, it's gonna be like way too obvious. But I do like to overline them slightly. And then, I just like to press my lips together so the color kind of comes down a little bit on my actual lips and that's going to really help to blend out with my lip color which is what I'm going to apply next. You then just want to take your fingers and blend the two lip shades together into one another and then I like to take a lip gloss. I don't like too too much lip gloss but I do like a little bit of like a shinier lip these days. And I'm just gonna apply it in the center of my lips like this. Again, press my lips together. And you guys, there is my lips all done. All right guys, so we are done with all of my makeup tips. I do have one more kind of like thought to share here. It's not really a makeup tip, it's more of like just a makeup thought, I guess. And that is all around beauty tools that I think that you all need. And if you have these tools, you can do so much. You can do definitely do a full face. And if you invest in these once, you will have them for a long, long time and you will use them every single day. So to me, it's really worth spending the money. But let's quickly talk about eye brushes. And if I was to recommend four, these would be it right here. I love MAC brushes. Their eye brushes are some of the best I have ever used. I've had some of these now for years. I mean, some of these don't even have like the actual name written on them anymore. So the first is gonna be an eyeshadow shader brush. This is gonna pack on the color. You can also use this underneath your eyes, underneath your brows, a great tool. Then you have a blending brush, like a traditional blending brush to apply color in your crease. This works great and like the shape of this is so perfect. Next up, I have a bigger blending brush and you might be like, well, if I have this, why do I need this? 
This is really just to pack the color into your crease and blend it out slightly. This is to really give you that soft blend. And this is the brush that I use today to blend on my eyeshadow. Love this brush as well, highly recommend this. And then a small little shader brush like this. If you're into uh, smudging out your eyeliner, you can also use this on the bottom lash line as well, as well as the inner corner. This is a very versatile brush. It's a small one, but I use this all the time. This one specifically is for Makeup Forever. Next up, let's talk about the face. The first thing I have to give a huge shout out is the Beauty Blender. And I've tried a lot of different beauty sponges and I just always go back to the Beauty Blender because the shape is so perfect. They really nailed it with this. And then in terms of brushes, these are the ones that I recommend. I will just say brands like Eco Tools, Real Techniques, BH Cosmetics, they all have great base brushes. Um, but again, these are the ones that I recommend. The first one is going to be a buffing brush like this to buff out your foundation, your liquid foundation, cream foundation. This is really gonna help buff it out into your skin because it gives you like that seamless finish. Then you've got concealer blending brush. You can actually use this for a lot of different things. You can even use this for powder, but I love this brush to blend out my concealer underneath my eyes. Then you've got an all over powder brush. This is a little bit bigger. To set all of the powder all over your face in place, this is great, makes it so easy. It's also very soft. Then you've got your contour brush. I use this today again to apply this on the side of my face, apply my bronzer on the side of my face. Works so well. You've got your blush brush. I really love this shape specifically from MAC. They have the, this is a limited edition one, but they do have it in the permanent collection. And if it's perfectly on the apples of your cheeks, this is great. And last but not least, you need a like a fluffier brush like this to apply your highlight. You can also use this brush, but it's a little bit more dense. This is a little bit more fluffy, giving you like that softer highlight look. And these are my top face brush recommendations. And with that guys, we are at the end of the video. I really hope you guys all enjoyed my makeup tips for medium brown skin, but really this is beauty tips for all skin types, all skin tones, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Before you head out, please don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel below, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.